back Sweden's NATO bid. Of course, it was a year ago at the NATO summit in Madrid uh, that there was agreement then, but, but since then, Turkey has been throwing up roadblocks here. Uh, and, and, and even earlier today, there was some question as whether Turkey would come through. C can you uh, let us know exactly how uh, this came to be? W what agreements were made? Was anything offered in return? Well, thanks, Jim, for the question. Unfortunately, I, I'm just hearing the news as you're reading it out to me, so I'm not exactly sure of any arrangements or agreements that have been made. But we have been confident as an administration that Sweden would be the 32nd country admitted to NATO. Um, so if there is, a, in fact, a clear path um, and, and Turkey has lifted um, its opposition to, to Sweden joining uh, NATO, we, we certainly welcome that news. And I just would mention that on the, uh, as we're starting the NATO summit in Vilnius in, in Lithuania, NATO is even stronger and more united than it has been, even bigger than before with 31 countries, and now hopefully with the 32nd as well. Uh, before we go, I want to ask you about the administration's decision to go ahead and send cluster munitions uh, to Ukraine. As, as you know, the, the, this is a weapon that's been banned by uh, more than 100 countries around the world. The U.S. has not signed on to that convention. But, but you're aware uh, of, of how these have been used in this conflict, how indiscriminately they've been used by Russia, but also how history has shown uh, that they carry deadly impact many years, often many decades after war. Why? Are these weapons necessary now? Or are you concerned about the loss, to some degree, of the moral high ground, right, for Ukrainian forces here, or at least the d d diminution of the moral high ground for Ukrainian forces to use such a weapon? Well, you heard just on, on your own network, the president sat down and said that this was a very hard decision to make, but it's ultimately the right decision to make. We know we have to bridge our 155 rounds here and, and increase production here in the United States to continue Ukraine in the fight. But artillery is one of their biggest priority needs on the battlefield and the expenditure of artillery rounds on the battlefield is quite high. And so these cluster munitions, we are sending ones that have a dud rate of lower than 2.35%. We're confident because uh, that Ukraine will use these responsibly on the battlefield. And we're confident in that because they've given us their assurance of that. Um, but this was a hard, a hard decision that the president made um, that his national security team recommended to him ultimately. And it's going to keep Ukraine not only in the fight, um, but going to keep them uh, pushing forward and advancing in their counteroffensive. Sabrina Singh, Singh, thanks so much for joining us from the White House today. The Pentagon, I should say. Thanks very much. Uh, I do want to bring in CNN's Nick Robertson uh, on this news just into CNN that Turkey has now agreed to support NATO's accession to NATO. No, sorry, sorry, Sweden's accession to NATO. Uh, this is something of a surprise because even a couple hours ago, it wasn't clear that Turkey would come through. Uh, they were connecting this to their own accession to, to the EU. Do we know what brought Turkey over the finish line here? Yeah, I think we've got an idea now. Uh, NATO uh, Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg was hosting a meeting between President Erdogan and the Swedish Prime Minister Ulf Christensen. Uh, it is in that meeting, and I think if we think back to earlier in the day, Stoltenberg had said that he felt that a positive outcome or positive discussions can still, could still be held, and now we're, now we're getting the details on it. So what's in there? It says that uh, since the past year, when Sweden wanted to join NATO and Turkey said, you need to do more to combat the uh, Kurdish uh, terrorists, uh, the PKK group, mm -hmm. uh, an opposition group, obviously uh, not, not in Turkey's good books and not in the good books of many other countries as well, that Sweden has now changed its concept Constitution, change laws to mm -hmm. toughen up there. Um, Sweden has also, this communique from NATO notes, um, now restarted uh, weapons sales to Turkey that they had stopped in the past. There's also a new commitment here, it appears, from Sweden to say that they will continue this bilateral security relationship, security and cooperation relationship with Turkey. This is something new that had begun last year and this is now being more formalized. It appears to be more of a, an ongoing event, that this is a long-term commitment and understanding right. from Sweden towards combating counterterrorism, um, uh, And also the YPG, uh, the Syrian mm -hmm. Kurdish group, is also now on Sweden's list of countries, a list of, of groups to uh, okay. keep on their radar at the demand of the Turks. We, we know some uh, U.S. senators, including the Republican leader, has raised, raised the possibility of... Please join the conversation.
Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the Macad TV family. Please like and share Macad TV. We love you all. Please support Macad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.